to think. I don't even know them, so thank you, Dion. Thank you, Dion. You have ball. Specific here. I'd like to thank Thomas P. Campbell and the Fine Arts Museums in San Francisco. <laughs> the voted staff for selecting me along with the exciting gold pay as an honoree for this On the Edge Gala 2022. And I especially thank Tim Bogart, who took personal ownership of my painting and guided it here to these great halls of the Young Museum. I thank Lily Way, who was struck down by COVID yesterday. Uh, but I thank Lily Way, writer and critic, who has given me insight into my own work, doing just what our Oscar Wilde suggests critics should do, explain to viewer and maker alike what is important about the work being seen. I thank two fabulous American photographers, Lewis Watts and Ray Holbert, for the impossible task of photographing my work and me always at the last minute. <laughs> <laughs> I thank my friends Carla Story and Quincy McCoy for letting me rant and rave, agreeing my righteous indignation is indeed necessary and appropriate. I think, thank my cousin Lenora Reddix and my nephew Lamar Ariel Lovelace for coming all this way from the Eastern Seaboard to represent my family. I thank my friend and agent, Karen Jenkins Johnson, who helped, get, who helped get Panthers here to this museum and curses along with me the trials of being a participant in the most unregulated of all enterprises, the art business. <laughs> I thank my parents, my family, and the ancestors for watching over me. And I thank all of you who have supported me below these many years. And I thank those who supported my work, even though they didn't like me or my work. <laughs> 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 but felt in, it felt it important to make a way for an African American white young artist. I thank Patricio Moreno Toro, one of the three best painters in this nation. I forget the other two. <laughs> Who is my husband of what I think is about 140 years? <laughs> I thank, as always, Celestial Empress Latilly, my dear, my darling, my daughter, my child, my own. My life as a painter ain't been no crystal stair, but it has most certainly been worthwhile. Lots of laughing and lying, crying, eating, drinking, and working hateful jobs doing whatever it took to keep a studio over my head. A place to work, a place to find my way through the questions finding my own answers, just working, working in a place where I could be brave enough to live out my own insanity. Mm -hmm. Yep, no crystal stuck there, but not a single boring day in all my 80 years. Damn, that's a whole bunch of years to love and be loved and to work. That is what is important in a well-lived life, a place to make, to make artwork, which should be called art labor. Mm -hmm. Well, for me, my art labor has indeed a price, and if one doesn't want to pay that price, then that art labor is not for them. That great big piece of Mildred Thompson wisdom was brought to me by Melissa Mancini. Well, there is no free lunch, and one must sing for supper, or dance for dinner. I say good night, and out of my way. I'm about to die.